So what have we learned from our expert therapist, apologist, minister, and biblical scholar? First, there's no scientific evidence that anyone is born gay. Second, homosexual confusion is often the result of brokenness in the soul, whether moral, developmental, or both. Third, surface happiness that is sometimes seen among homosexuals masks the deep levels of brokenness that are made clear in clinical and medical statistics showing high levels of promiscuity, infidelity, substance abuse, depression, suicide, domestic violence, and fatal diseases that are directly related to the gay lifestyle. Fourth, not only does simple anatomy witness to the Creator's singular design for sexual behavior, He has also left an unimpeachable written witness to that design in the pages of the Bible. In it, God teaches that sexual unions are to be conducted solely within the covenant of lifelong heterosexual monogamous marriage. Every departure from that model is uniformly condemned. Fifth, because of our inability to perfectly keep His moral law, God came to earth in Jesus Christ to pay the penalty that we deserve for our sin. Anyone who repents of their sin and follows Him can have this pardon, as well as the gift of the Holy Spirit who provides the power to live in obedience to God's moral principles. So, God breaks the penalty of sin and the power of sin, and if the person is willing, heals the broken places that make them vulnerable to such behaviors. As the broken places are healed in an intimate relationship with God, sinful tendencies of every kind progressively lose their power and their allure. Yes, change is possible. A witness declared not only 2,000 years ago in Scripture, but today as well by countless thousands who at one time practiced homosexuality, but do so no more.